Let's get ready for an engagement party. I'm getting straight in there. I'm using the By Ellie brow shape for my brows. This is what they look like. I did have a little spot sticker on my face, but then I'm going in with the Dr. Dennis Gross Universal Peel Pads. I love this for makeup prep. I feel like it just gets my skin nice and glowy and exfoliated ready for makeup. Now I am going in with all my skincare and letting that soak in before I do my makeup, but I'm taking the Herbivore Supernova Eye Cream and getting that onto my under eyes. I've been really loving this under makeup recently. It's super hydrating and glowy as well. Speaking of glow, I'm taking the Radiance Repair and Use You See Glow On Shot Serum. I'm taking a mixture of those and I didn't realize how runny it would be, but I'm getting that all over my face. And this again is gonna add that glow from a serum, but I do wanna add in some extra hydration. So I'm using my Wind Medina Dew. I absolutely love this under makeup and it does seem like a lot of skincare, but honestly, trust me, when you do your skincare properly, your makeup just looks so beautiful on top. Speaking of makeup, I'm taking my dewy primer from the Beauty Crop and getting a couple of pumps on that to my skin. This is the glow version and I feel like if you haven't guessed already, I'm all about the glow for this look. For my like very sticky primer, I'm taking the Airbrush uh, Flawless finishing spray from Charlotte Tilbury and then pushing that into my skin. I've been using a setting spray for primer for years and it is honestly the best. For my base, I'm taking the House Labs foundation and mixing it in with the bit of this say like glowy hydration like illuminizer underneath and then I am taking a little bit of my Radiant Rani in there as well just to thin it out very slightly and then a little bit extra um, airbrush setting spray into that because it was so hot this day and I just knew I wanted my makeup to look glowy but still not slide off my face if you know what I mean. So I'm just bouncing this all over my face until I'm happy with the level of coverage. As you can see, you can still see my skin through it. I'm taking the Milk Makeup Contour Stick now and getting that on to the usual areas that I like to cream contour. By the time I kind of blended this all out, I was like, I feel like I need something a little bit bronzy on top because this is more cool tone. And if you guys know me by now, I love using cream products. So I did go in on top of that with the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. So this is adding the shadow and that coolness and the Rare Bronzer Stick is gonna add that warmth back to my face, as you can see here. So this I'm just gonna blend in as well in like right now <laughs> and then once it's all blended in I'm just going to make sure I'm happy with the way that my bases are looking I'm making sure I'm taking my beauty blender just to make sure everything's nice and blended out as well I almost forgot concealer but I'm taking my uh, Maybelline eraser eye thingamajiggy and getting that onto the usual areas where I want to brighten and I'm using the shade neutralizer it's my favorite shade because it's got a beautiful yellow undertone to it and I feel like it's just perfect and again been using this for years it's tried tested and it's incredible. To set everything, I'm taking the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Setting Powder and I'm just taking a very thin bit of that onto my brush. As you can see, I was like swirling it in there and I tapped it in as well. And um, this just adds a really nice thin layer onto my face to make sure everything's gonna stay put and not look or feel heavy, which is the vibe I am going for. I'm doing that on pretty much all the areas where I applied the concealer and also my brows. And then taking my Back to Bronze bronzer from L'Oreal, again, been using this for so many years. You guys know when I love products because I use them again and again and again. But I'm just getting this onto the usual areas where I just wanna set the cream bronzer. And I'm just using the slightest amount too. Taking this Nude Sticks, cream blusher I'm getting that on to the apples of my cheek I didn't realize how pigmented it will be so I did go over the top with a beauty blender but I don't think I showed it in the clips and then I realized I need to just do a little bit extra setting so I'm getting some more of the airbrush setting powder on to my face and then for highlighter I'm taking the rare beauty highlighter in the shade exhilarate this is clearly just taken over my love for champagne pop r.i.p champagne pop and yeah it is just I think it's actually better in formula compared to the Becca ones and for my brows, to fill them in, I'm taking the Victoria Beckham brow product just to kind of add a few more hairs and just thicken it up in the areas where I feel like it needs a little bit of help. And I just love the fluffy brow trend at the moment. I'm pretty sure I'll go back to doing them normally, but for now, I am loving it. Then I'm gonna move on to eyes. I'm taking this Hourglass eyeshadow stick in the shade Voya, and I'm getting this on all over my lashes. I feel like, lashes? My eyelids. <laughs> I feel like the older I've gotten, I've been 
edging towards so many more cream products, especially on my eyes, because they look really beautiful on like the skin on my eyelids, but also photograph really well as well. And it always makes me look like I've done a really like intricate eye when actually it's super easy. Getting some bronzer on the crease as well before going in with a bit of like a hint of pink because my Lenga had pink in it. So I'm taking this Mario Makeup by Mario palette and taking these two shades right here and kind of packing that on to the center portion of my eyelid and then just blending it all out. And it just adds like a little bit of a pop of pink to the entire look. And because I've got the cream shadow on underneath, it's going to stay put. Then taking this lighter shade and just adding it into my inner corners of my eyes. I just really loved how simple this makeup look was. Um, but yeah, I am then just taking a little bit of bronzer and putting that on my under my lower lash line just to kind of balance out the top and bottom bits of my eyes. And then finally, the last step um, is mascara. Actually, second to last step is mascara. I'm getting my Bella mascara onto not only my top lashes, but my lower lashes as well. I was gonna just leave it as that and not put any falsies on. And then I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some falsies on. So I did add some towards the end. For lips, I'm taking Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and lining my lips and filling them in. And then I went over the top with the new Rare Beauty lip oils this is in the shade wonder it's so beautiful and i'm just getting that all over my lips and this is the poor bit where i was like i feel like i need to add some lashes on here so i am quickly just going to go and add some lashes and it just adds a little bit extra volume then can't forget my bindi i feel like whenever i do an indian look i have to wear my bindi and for my jewelry i used these beautiful earrings from red dot jewels they are so stunning and then i also have a matching dicker as well and i'm going to put that on i'd left my hair naturally curly but how i do my little dicker hack which i learned from armin navid who is an incredible hair artist is find the parting where you want it measure your dicker wherever it's going to end basically create a tiny little ponytail with one of those clear or really thin rubbery elastic bands and then all you have to do is just hook that in you can like back comb your hair and kind of hide that but I really don't mind if people see it and then that is it that is all done I don't like to stick it to my head because I just leave it as it is I feel like it looks fine and I wasn't going to be dancing or jumping around but this is the end of my look and this is my beautiful Lenga from Lushgara it is absolutely stunning I really hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me and I will hopefully see you all soon in my next video sending all of the love and the light from my heart to you guys and I'll see you soon bye